happened to them once the bell rings. And he takes his alias of Mr. No Days Off very seriously. Well, what's your take right now on Darren Young? That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. <gasps> Darren Young's high energy overflowing with self-confidence and not afraid to take on the challenge of any superstar in that ring. His moniker of Mr. No Days Off is something D. Young lives and breathes every day. Great job by the official here tonight. I don't know how he's managed to keep so many larger-than-life competitors in check here. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Incoming! Darren Young's days as a WWE rookie are long behind him. D. Young's an exciting WWE superstar who brings the pain to his opponents, whether it's in tag team or singles competition. Yeah, he's brass, he's loud, and highly confident in his abilities. Of course he is. This is Darren Young. This is Mr. No Days Off. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. There it is, the pop-up power bomb. Oh, man, it's all over but the crying after that, Cole. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. Oh my, someone's getting a taste of their own finishing moves. Man, oh man, why would they do that? He's seen it up and a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. You know, it's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in his tank. You know, Titus O'Neil has been a monster since day one. First on the gridiron at the University of Florida, and then as a member of the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. In 2012, Titus debuted in WWE and became one half of the primetime players. Ooh, that'll knock the wind out of you. And there's the tag. Nice move. Uh-oh. Climbing the turnbuckle. The shoulders are down. And he breaks the three count. Oh, I got to tell you, I really thought that could have been it. John Cena with the offense. The referee getting involved now. Titus O'Neil, a former defensive end, made that tackle look easy. He desperately, desperately needs to make a tag here. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. You witness this type of physicality and wonder, if it looks this bad on the outside, how much worse is it on the inside? Yeah, there could be some serious internal damage here. Darren Young gathering attention in a hurry. This guy's just too strong. He gets the tag. You have to respect that Kevin Owens knows what he wants and goes right after it. He's one of the most no-nonsense competitors we've seen in a long time. Yeah, but I'm not so sure Sami Zayn respects that. Kevin Owens wanted Zayn's NXT title and cut to the front of the line in February 2015 to take it. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Kevin Owens connecting there with a good shot. Ow! Ooh. Quick thinking to avoid that. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Not today, 
too fast. You'd have to think that Kevin Owens' brawling style makes him incredibly difficult to game plan for. There's the switch. Big Show is in. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. No kidding. This is going to need some serious medical attention. that's not going to hurt is his pajamas. Kevin Owens shows us some clever offense here. To your earlier point, Cole, there's no game planning for a guy who's going to come right at you like Owens does. The only thing I can think of is maybe run. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Looking to be in great physical condition here, almost impervious to pain. A quick reversal by Kevin Owens. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? in tag team and singles competition. I've always found superstars that came from tag team competition very innovative when it came to creating offense. D. Young's gut check will make anybody think twice about signing a contract to face him in a match. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. And there's the count. He gets the tag. And the ref starts the count. Three. You know, D. Young is versatile with his offense. We've seen him execute the move from the top rope, the gut check. I mean, that takes all of the air out of an opponent with both of Young's knees crushing their abdomen and ribs. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Here we go. John Cena setting it up. Incredible move by John Cena. Oh, and hey, the shoulders are down. His partner's being punished, and he's seen it up. Just making his presence felt there. Whoa! Don't get up! Going for it all here. Shoulders down, is it enough? This may be it. When an opponent of Darren Young's is on the receiving end of his brand of offense, they can expect ground attacks, being warm. The shoulders are down! Making it look easy. And there's the count. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. How you make an impact. There's the switch. Titus O'Neil is in. He's taking a lot of punishment. If it continues, it could eventually affect his vision. Yeah, already seeing stars. Well, let's face it, Cole. If you're going to be in WWE and call yourself Mr. No Days Off and love to talk trash on the microphone, you better be at the top of your game every single night. Whoa, whoa! Not even close!
There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. Titus, he's got it locked in. Will this be it? One of the things that Big Show does better than anyone else is exploit his size and weight difference. Wait a minute. Refusing to give in there. What sheer determination. The referee getting involved now. And there's the count. Big Show shows us some clever offense here. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. These guys giving this sold out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. He's showing no signs of letting up. Titus O'Neil with a nice reversal. Oh man, what a shot. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. to avoid that. Oh, come on. Is that really necessary? What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. I am getting tired of watching this. Do something different. The spear. The end is near after that spear. And this has got to be it. Yeah, maybe. Whoa. Oh, he's in trouble now. And the ref starts the count. Oh, resounding move by Big Show. Going for the cover. we saw during the match. You want to talk about crowd-pleasing? Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. You want to talk about incredible high-impact sports entertainment? Check out what happened during this match. Here are your winners, Lee, The Big Show, and John Cena. Got to give these three credit for an amazing victory here tonight. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. I wasn't completely convinced these three were on the same page throughout the entire match, but they were certainly able to overcome any potential issues to pick up the win.